Using the tip-to-tail method, we can sketch the resultant of any two vectors, but we can't find the magnitude of the resultant, since v1 and v2 are two-dimensional vectors. In order to add these two vectors, we have to break them up into their components. Then we can add the x and y components separately. Step 1, draw a diagram and add the vectors graphically. Step 2, choose x and y axes. Step 3, resolve each vector into x and y components. Step 4, calculate each component using sine and cosine. Step 5, add the components in each direction. Step 6, find the length and direction of the resultant vector using Pythagorean theorem and inverse tangent. For this example, we're going to determine the resultant of the following three vectors. 24 meters, 30 degrees north of east, 28 meters, 37 degrees east of north, and 20 meters, 50 degrees west of south. First draw the vectors, paying special attention to the direction. So the first vector was 24 meters, and it was 30 degrees north of east. So we start from east, and 30 degrees north of that is our angle. The second vector was 28 meters, at 37 degrees east of north. So we start at north, and our angle is 37 degrees east of that. And our final vector is 20 meters, 50 degrees west of south. So we start at south, and we go 50 degrees west of south. Next, we need to find the x and y components of each vector. So for the first vector, our x component is right along the axis, so we would use cosine, and the y component is right here, so we would use sine. Now for our second vector, our x component is actually opposite of the angle, so we need to use sine, and the y component is adjacent to the angle, so we would need to use cosine. For our last vector, our x component, we would use sine again because it's opposite of our angle. And for our y component, we would use cosine again because it is adjacent to our angle. So in order to remember, you'd use SOHCAHTOA. So remember, sine of the angle goes with opposite over hypotenuse. And cosine of the angle goes with adjacent over hypotenuse. Another thing to note is that both of these answers are negative. That's because we normally choose directions of south and west as negative directions. Now we can put all the components together in a chart and solve for the resultant vector. So for our x components we had 20.8, 16.9, and negative 15.3. When we add those together we get 22.4. For our y components, we had 12, 22.4, and negative 12.9. When we add those together, we get 21.5. So we use Pythagorean theorem to find the resultant. So c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So c equals the square root of 22.4 squared plus 21.5 squared, and we get 31 meters. To find the direction of the resultant, we use inverse tangent. So tangent equals opposite over adjacent, and theta would be equal to tan inverse tangent of 21.5 divided by 22.4. So that is our y direction over our x direction. That's because our resultant would look like this. So here is our y and here is our x. And this is the angle that we are solving for. So our final angle is 43.8 degrees.